Hi sisters, yes. Today we're going to be doing being living conspiracy queens. Grab your Diet Cokes and let's get this party started. Giddy up. Okay, so here's the dealio. I was returning from my vacation, watch my spring break vlogs. I quit in the middle of spring break. Sorry about that one. Um, so, okay, so Shane Dawson, right? Right? Nothing. Right. Okay. Um, he, he came out with that conspiracy video about the airplane, the Malaysian airplane. I don't know what it's called, but that's okay. Um, so pretty much I, I too flew on an airplane and every time I get on an airplane, especially if it's like nighttime, I'm tired. I kind of convince myself that like it's probably gonna crash like there's like a hundred percent chance we're going down turbulence we're dead so since this flight was at night i was kind of in this weird mindset and i've convinced myself of this theory i don't actually believe it it's just something that has gotten into my head and i've kind of convinced myself that like this could be a possibility like this is something someone crazy would believe me being the crazy i am hi so pretty much this all started um so this all started a few weeks ago we ventured to the top of a building let's rephrase we ventured to the top of a parking garage not a building a parking garage and we were like taking cute pics like eh. and then someone i can't remember someone i can't remember who it was was like i feel like we're in a dome because, like, you know, the horizon, like, makes it, like, people believe this earth is, earth, this earth is flat. So, pretty much, I've come up with this theory. As I was on the airplane, part of Shane Dawson's thing, like, fits together with mine. I don't know. Um, so, I'll just hop right into it. Okay. <laughs> I was on the plane, if you guys didn't know that. Um, and I look out the window, and I'm literally like, what the is below me because it was like there were like clouds and then there was like light below it so it was like shining through I'm not really quite sure what was happening there but it was scary and that led to my thought what if we're like not actually flying like what if they're trying to convince us that we're flying you know like what if when I look out this window there's like not actually and we're not actually going anywhere. Like, we're staying in place. That's why it feels like you're moving so slow. Because you're not actually, like, moving. You know? And then I look to the sky. And I see that there is, like, the stars. Naturally. As there always is. Stars. They never move. Have you ever thought of that? Like, they never move. Like, I feel like it's always the same stars everywhere you go. Which I get is just, like, your perspective. But even then, I feel like... Like you're, I don't know. It's just weird. I was thinking about this naturally. And I was like, what if I'm actually in a dome? Like I was saying before, like what if the horizon and we're just like, I don't know, flying in circles or like not flying at all, like hovering? I don't know. But what if we actually are in the dome and that's why the sky never changes is because there's like a dome. And then, like, while you're on the airplane, the sky doesn't change because they just, like, project one thing. But then, I was also thinking about this. So, you know how there's, like, the two windows? Like, the front window and then the back window? What if, like, they, they pretty much, like, project it. So it's, like, you think you're seeing outside, but, like, you're not. This whole video makes no sense due to the fact that I'm making this all up. Like, none of this is real. It just came from my brain. Whatever. Um, but, yeah. So, like, what if it's just, like, projected onto the window? So then you, like, look and it, like, changes perspective. Kind of like virtual reality. Like, when you look around, like, they've programmed it. That would be so weird. Like, they're just tricking you into thinking you're moving. You know? Like, weird. So... This leads me into the actual, like, conspiracy, I guess. So, this leads me into, like, the Malaysian air thing that, like, Shane Dawson talks about. What if they're normalizing us 
Which, like, leads into another thing that he was talking about, like, the 9-11 crushes, like, how that was always on the media and, like, the chips and everything. Like, what if they're normalizing us for, like, planes just disappearing because it's going to happen a lot, you know? Like, what if, like, they're going to, like, they're leaving the dome. That's why they disappeared is because they got out of the dome and they're seeing, like, the real world. And, like, they go through and that's why they're gone. That's why we can't find them. That's why there's no, like, explanation of them anywhere. Like, I feel like everyone just, like, forgot that these people are still gone. Like, no one knows where these people are. That's so weird. Where are they? Someone please tell me, and the only explanation I can think of is a dome. So if anyone else has anything else to say about it, please let me know, because I'm pretty sure I'm right on this one. That's so cool. If we're living in a dome, I think that's cool. And they create, like, different climates, and it's not, like, act what if we're mini? Oh my gosh, I'm having, like, all these revelations. What if we're, like, mini, and that's why they can keep us in the dome, and then they create all like, these different climates, and then they make us think that the world is round? Oh my gosh. I'm blowing my own mind right now. I'm so hot, but I'm blowing my own mind. Because, <sighs> wow. What? What? Wow. Like, what if, whoa, what if I'm mini and I don't even know it? Like, I'm tiny. Like, someone's watching me right now. You know, like, someone's outside of this dome. Someone's out here. Someone's out here just watching me. And it's, like, realizing I'm figuring this out. And I'm not even on drugs, people. Like, I'm living. Like, I'm just thinking about this. Okay. And then I was thinking about they're normalizing us for this. So they're trying to, like, normalize us. Like, we're going to fly through something. Like, we're... And all those conspiracies about, like, what happens when you fly over the Bermuda Triangle and, like, a five-hour flight turns into, like, 20 minutes because you fly through, like, this certain, like, space thing. But that's kind of, like, I don't really get that one. But, like, what if they're just trying to normalize us into thinking that it's okay for planes to disappear because these people have been randomly selected to leave the the area and these people have been randomly selected to like or they've been specially selected they know they knew they weren't going to get off that plane you know they that pilot was acting nervous because he knew he was never going to see his family again because he's been randomly selected to leave the dome weird to leave the dome I want to leave the dome. Hi, guys. If I'm actually in a dome, I want to leave it. I want to know what's happening outside the world. What if they built, like, a separate universe? Where am I going? People probably think I'm really drugged up right now, and I'm not. I'm just not. Like, this is my brain. But, like, what if... What if they built, like, another Earth? Because, like, everyone's talking about how this one's going to end. What if it does end on April 18th, you know? But instead of the Earth ending, we just go to the second planet. We just go to the second planet, right? So we've built another Earth, right? And they've been keeping us in the dome because it's not ready. But on April 18th, it is ready. And that's why this world is ending because we've ruined it. And now we have a new planet to go and ruin. But we're going to do it right this time because they've been planning it. They know how humans are. You know, what if someone watching me right now isn't even human? What if I'm not even human? You know? So, like, wow. Wow. I've blown my own mind. I've sincerely done it this time. I've sincerely blown my own mind this time. And I'm proud of myself. Wow. That was a lot to take in. So yeah, <laughs> in conclusion, I've gone crazy, convinced myself we're living in a dome, even though I don't actually believe it, I believe this is, I don't know, it's the earth, the space travel, what? Wow. Wow. What if they just like convince, they put them in a room and they're like, you're in space, ha ha ha, you know, like they're not actually in space, they're actually in like Wisconsin or something. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so Yeah. <laughs> In conclusion, I've gone crazy, and um, I came up with this really weird theory. 
that's not real and has no actual basis why the fuck is someone parking right next to me it's time for me to go yeah 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 and um yeah i really just gotta back up before these people see me talking to myself <laughs> okay so pretty much thank you all so much for watching this video thank you so much for supporting me as i go crazy and uh probably end up in a mental institution because um i have no idea what the fuck i'm talking about anymore not that i actually believe this disclaimer don't actually end of the video disclaimer don't actually believe any of this but maybe you do comment um if you believe it or not because i'm curious um because i kind of convinced myself on the airplane that it was real and um so yeah Thanks for watching this video. Kisses and well wishes.